Welcome to the Luxoft virtual reality demo um, that simulates the car interface of the future. I'm gonna teleport myself now 10 years into the future where the cars are self-driving and you have augmented reality classes in your car. All this is simulated in virtual reality and yeah, let's jump into the car. I'm now in St. Louis, the city of the future that we created for this demo and I'm standing in front of my mansion. And now the first thing that I have to do is obviously call the car. We have our own hands for interacting in this demo to make it as realistic and as intuitive as possible. So by just with a flick of the hand I get a menu which right now has only one option and that is call the car. So I call the car and it will now drive autonomously out of the garage and will drive exactly in the right spot for this demo so that I sit at the driver's seat. So the car is now here and as you can see there is no steering wheel, there is no screens, it's just open space in the car. Again, here's my menu. I have now different options like navigation system, climate, media and we start with navigation. The navigation now opened and we have a 3D version of the city in front of us where we can explore with our fingers. Seems to be a museum, a viewpoint, a casino and even a restaurant. So what we do is we select this POI by pointing at it for one second and now we load a 3D version of the restaurant and we can now book a table here and I'm just gonna look around and see which might be the nicest table. To walk around because obviously I'm sitting in the car and I'm stuck in the car right now I can't walk around. I just point where I want to go so um, I point at those orange balls and this is how I move through the restaurant. And I think I have found the nicest spot in the restaurant right here. So what I do is I go in the reserve table modus of the restaurant. And this means that I get live data from the restaurants, which tables are free and which tables are occupied. So all the red tables are occupied and the green glowing ones are free. So luckily the best table in the restaurant is free. So I just point at it and reserve it for now. Now the car got the data and we, um, we unload the restaurant again. This was just a 3D uh, visualization of the restaurant. Now the car knows where we want to drive. We want to go to the restaurant. So I just press start driving and my car drives me autonomously to the restaurant. And now we see already the first augmented reality information directly on the street. Because for semi-autonomous cars or for autonomous cars, it's very important to enable trust with the user. So we show at any point the next three to five seconds what the car will do. For example, now it will go in this roundabout and it will show directly how it will drive. So I know it has everything under control and if something is out of line, I will see it directly in my uh, classes. And I also see on the navigation system um, where we are driving, um, through the city and everything is 3D, I can move around with my head completely free. In front of us, there seems to be a problem. There's two cars standing still. My car tracks that automatically. The lane turns red to show that it's gonna break and it gives me some additional information. There seems to be a car breakdown and you have to imagine now, this was after a stressful work day, now we even have a traffic jam. So what we do is we just select one of our ambient settings in the car. In our ambient menu, we have different options to choose from. We can literally display anything with augmented reality in the car. So in this case, a Japanese cherry tree. And we made it even in the way that you can touch it and then leaves start falling. And this is tracked in the real world with a vaporizer that emits smell, which smells like a cherry tree. So I right now, I get some beautiful um, cherry tree smell into my nose and with um, relaxing music in the background, the traffic jam is gone in no time. The car now takes the scenic route because we are on vacation through the city. And for example, here's some additional AR information. There is a museum and the car shows me the opening hours of this museum. There will be another danger situation happen where a person will just randomly step on the street, but the car will again track the person. And as soon as it gets dangerous, it will show it in red and again break. And even though this guy just stepped on the street, it's all okay. We can continue with our drive. And to relax a little bit more, we just open the media player, select whatever song we want and listen to some awesome music. The media player is not boring lists how it is nowadays on screen. 
the covers are around you. And I can just, in 3D, press whatever cover I want. Or if I want, I can go to genres and select some electronic music, get a pre-selection of some electronic songs and choose those um, songs. The car right now takes the most beautiful route through the city because we are on vacation. So this is a scenic route which even goes underwater through an underwater aquarium. And again, we get additional information, in this case about the animals around us. On our right, we have a hammer shark and our left, we have a leopard shark. The climate control of our car is also very intuitive and futuristic. We have one slider for the strength of the climate control. On the bottom, we move the air basically. And this is tracked with fans here in the real world. The air is actually coming out of the direction where it shows me in virtual reality as well. And I see everything also in 3D right in front of me. And we have different ambient settings, not just the Japanese tree. We have some paradise settings where we can play with the water. Or also, which sounds first a little bit crazy, but we can put a fire in our car. And it actually looks cozy. If we look around, the whole light setting of the car changed in a way that it feels very warm and cozy on a cold day. And in no time, we already arrived autonomously at the restaurant. And I would still have my small augmented reality classes in the real world on. I would just exit the car, enter the restaurant, and the navigation would continue and show me where in which floor, for example, the restaurant is, where I have to go. And after that, it could also show me a digital um, preview of the menu of the restaurant directly on the table. And this was our virtual reality demo of the car interface of the future.